What's up guys? Today I bring you a simple camera test. We will be comparing Huawei's P40 Pro's main 50 megapixel sensor against a few other smartphones. Now this is not a full camera test, it's only a simple main camera indoor experiment. Now I will take three shots from each smartphone and keep the best looking shot to compare to the P40 Pro. Now Huawei's P40 Pro is currently number one on DxOMark, rated as the best smartphone camera in the world. Now I believe more or less any camera can take good shots outdoors in good lighting situations and with certain tweaks in the software we can get a better looking image. Well the aim of this video is to see how good the main sensors actually are when taking indoor shots and we will be comparing all of the shots to the P40 Pro. For this test I will be switching off AI modes, HDR and LED flash. All shots will be only with the main sensor and in 4x3 aspect ratio. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here is our subjects all well organized. First shot taken with the Huawei P40 Pro's 50 megapixel main sensor. So photo looks quite good, plenty of detail, nothing negative to say at this stage. Now the next shot has been taken with the Lumix GH5 20 megapixel main sensor. Now the reason why I'm showing you the GH5 is so you can see what the colors really look like. So the GH5 is the most color accurate and a very nice shot indeed. Now let's compare them both. P40 on the left and GH5 on the right. So you already know the PS4 console is more color accurate on the GH5 but the game controller buttons actually look clearer on the P40 Pro. Conor McGregor's face is more detailed in the GH5 with accurate contrast. Now the overall P40 shot adds a little more contrast than reality and it works for the blink box and the game controller but not as much for the Conor McGregor photo. Now there is also a tiny mark on my PS4 Pro which is visible on the GH5 and it's near the spider's mouth but the P40 Pro does not show the mark at all. So overall which shot actually looks better to you guys? P40 versus GH5 let me know in the comments below. So next up in comes the Huawei P30 Pro's 40 megapixel camera. Now these two shots actually look very similar. In fact the extra contrast in the P40 Pro seems like the only difference I can see. Both shots look great. Which one do you prefer? P40 Pro or P30 Pro? Now me personally I would give both points to the P40 Pro so far. Let's see who's next. So in comes the iPhone 11 Pro Max's 12 megapixel sensor and all I can say is wow. The iPhone's main sensor just blows your mind. Look at the accurate colors and contrast and detail you can see with the iPhone. If you were to look at this photo with your naked eye then the iPhone will give you the closest result. Notice how everything is perfectly in focus with the iPhone and you'll also notice even more marks on the PS4 Pro than the GH5 could pick up. And on that note, you know I have to compare the Lumix GH5 to the iPhone 11 Pro Max just to see who's the boss. It's a very close call, but I'm actually liking the iPhone 11 Pro Max slightly better, especially the detail in the game controller and Conor McGregor's face. Now the next shot we are comparing is the Vivo Next 3, which has a 64 megapixel main sensor. Now what's interesting with this shot is they both look identical. It's like playing a very difficult round of spot the difference and I can't find any with my eyes. I will let you guys decide which one you think is better but personally I'm going to call this one a tie. So now we are going a little back in time bringing in the iPhone 8 with its single 12 megapixel main sensor. Now this is a very interesting shot here. The Blink logo on the iPhone 8 shot looks nearly blurry and there is also a slight, very faint blur on the X and circle buttons on the controller. So P4E takes this round. Let me know which one you guys like. Now the next photo is Huawei's Mate 20 Pro with a 40 megapixel main sensor. And again, we are seeing the Blink logo is a little out of focus. Other than that, both photos look pretty good but P40 wins this round for me. Now this is the OnePlus 7 Pro's 48 megapixel sensor. Lots of bad points in this photo and I'll let you guys point them out. P40 wins this round too. 
So we are doing more time traveling, bringing in the Samsung Galaxy S8 single 12 megapixel sensor. Now for a phone that released in 2017, I have to say the overall S8 shot is not bad at all. Everything seems in focus, slightly less contrast, but all in all for the age of the phone, it's actually a decent shot. But if we compare it with the P40 Pro, I think we will all agree that the P40 wins this one as well. And just for a laugh, I also threw in the GoPro Hero 8's 12 megapixel sensor. And I think we all know who the winner is of this one. So there you have it, guys. That was my brief experiment on the main sensors we have seen throughout the years and seeing how they compare with the current best smartphone camera in the world, the Huawei P40 Pro. Now, we actually compared the P40 Pro to nine different devices. Two were not smartphones, so those don't count. So the P40 was compared to seven different smartphones and it managed to beat nearly six out of seven devices and drawed with the Vivo Next 3. So rounds one to nine, let me know in the comments how you guys see it. I hope you guys found this video useful. It's different to the normal videos I normally drop. Now, on a side note, I'm not feeling well. Few of you have spotted it, but I'm really, really not feeling well. Now, I don't really want to go into detail, but I am isolated, working from home and keeping myself busy. I refuse to lose and will try my best to fight this. But if all of a sudden you stop seeing videos on my channel, then you guys can guess what the outcome might be. Now, I wish you guys all the best and I hope you stay safe and stay isolated. I will continue to drop videos until possible because I enjoy this job. It's not the money. It's not the fame. I do this for the people and I genuinely enjoy what I do. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. Hopefully see you guys in the next one.